Anatomy of the Deltoid Muscle and Proper Vaccination Site The deltoid muscle is divided into three parts on the basis of its three origins. The anterior part or the clavicular part originate from the lateral third of the clavicle. And there is a chromial part that originates from the acromion of the scapula. This middle part is the usual site for injection. And then there is a spinal part that originates from the spine of the scapula. The fibers of the deltoid muscle join together to form a short tendon, which inserts into the deltoid tuberosity, which is located on the lateral aspect of the humeral shaft. The deltoid muscle is called deltoid because it resembles the Greek capital letter delta. The deltoid muscle also resembles the Delta Nile of Egypt. At the top of the delta, you will find the Mediterranean Sea, which resembles the shoulder joint. You do not want to inject there. At the bottom of the delta, you will find the River Nile, which resembles the nerves. You do not want to inject there. You want to inject in the middle of the delta. The shape and the morphology of the deltoid muscle that extends from anteriorly to posteriorly is encircling the shoulder joint. You can see the bulk of the muscle between the acromion and its insertion into the humerus. The shoulder and the deltoid muscle gets its round appearance due to the deltoid passing over the upper part of the humerus. The upper part of the humerus is called the head of the humerus. The head of the humerus and the shoulder are rounded. If the site of vaccination is high, you can see that the needle will enter the shoulder joint or injure the capsule. If the site of vaccination is in the middle of the muscle, then this location will probably be safe. But that site should not exceed 5 cm from the acromion. Because the nerve that supply the muscle, the axillary nerve is about 7 cm from the acromion. It is better to have a short sleeve shirt and pull it proximally, so the healthcare giving the vaccine can see the entire contour of the muscle and inject into the muscle. There is a risk if you don't pull the sleeve proximal enough because you don't see the entire contour of the muscle and the injection may be given too inferior. That's where the neurovascular bundle is located and this may cause a risk to the neurovascular bundle. There is also a risk if you don't pull the shirt distal enough that the injection may be given too high and it may enter the capsule or the shoulder joint. Knowing the anatomy of this area is important to avoid wrong location of injection. You can use the square method or the triangular method for injection inject into the middle third of this structure. If you superimpose both injection techniques, the ideal site for injection remains about the same. The deltoid muscle is innervated by the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve runs transversely from posterior to anterior about 7 cm distal to the acromion. The injection site 
should not exceed five centimeter distal to the acromion because this is the danger zone and the axillary nerve can be injured. Injury of the axillary nerve will cause weakness of abduction of the arm in addition to atrophy of the deltoid muscle. The shoulder muscle will be flattened rather than rounded. There will be also loss of sensation over the shoulder area. Helpful hints for vaccination. It is probably better to give the vaccine in the non-dominant arm. You can use the technique of Z-Track, sterilize the skin, use a 20 to 25 gauge needle that is between one to one and a half inches in length. The Z-Track technique will help in avoiding extravasation of the vaccine into the subcutaneous tissue and that will minimize irritation and the inflammation of the subcutaneous tissue of the shoulder. Or you can squeeze the muscle from front to back. Squeezing the muscle is an old traditional technique. A lot of people use it. The amount of vaccine is so small. I don't think it will be a difference between squeezing the muscle and the Z-Track technique. It is preferable to wear gloves. And aspiration before injection is optional, but it may not be necessary. It is rare to injure the artery during deltoid injection because the injection is usually superficial and not deep. Remember, the posterior circumflex humeral artery runs with the axillary nerve through the deltoid region, as you can see here. Serva is a real problem. The ideal injection site should be approximately 3 to 5 centimeter below the acromion. It is better to feel and identify the acromion so you can avoid injecting into the shoulder capsule or shoulder joint. Serva is a shoulder injury related to vaccine administration. It can happen if the injection is given too high or too deep. When you give the injection too high, it can go into the shoulder joint or the capsule rather than the deltoid muscle itself. You want to inject into the deltoid muscle. This condition presents itself in the form of pain, inflammation, swelling, decreased range of motion. It should be a temporary condition. It should improve after a few months. In some patients, the symptoms may last for several months. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.